Hi and welcome to the 13th and Insane video. In this video I'm going to show you how to switch between two different scenes. As you see from the image here you can see that it displays my name. And this is actually our splash scene that will be displayed when we start up the game. And after about 3 seconds or so it will switch over to our main game scene. Which looks something like this. So without further ado let's get started. First of all, I'm going to start by creating two new classes and they're going to be called Splash Scene and the Main Game Scene. So I've created a new package inside my project and in named it to Scene and inside I'm going to create my Main Game Scene. It's going to extend a scene so we inherit all of its methods and properties and such. So it actually acts as a scene. And then we're going to add a constructor that is going to take a class main activity. And I'm also going to add a new method inside our main game scene called initialize resources, which is the method that's going to add all of our sprites and score and etc. going to import main activity and then I'm going to I'm going to create an object out of main activity I'm going to do this and then this that main equals to main so so when we create an object out of our game scene we actually specify which main activity class that we're using and inside our main game scene we're going to import all of our methods and all of our sprites that actually belong to the game. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to import all of these points of add, score text of add, etc etc and remove them from our main activity. Then I'm just going to put all of them inside our initialized resources. And I will get lots of errors but we're going to fix them soon. I'm also going to import check collision and update score. put them down here and then I'm going to need all the variables and objects out of our fonts, our text and etc. So just going to import all of this and add them um, at the start of our class and then I'm just going to check for errors over here and actually removed too much to remove this. All of the images texture region and I tile text texture region will be stored in our main activity class over here. So we won't actually remove them. We're going to keep our font. There we go. Now I'm going to remove the sound over here and the game font since we're going to use it from our main activity class. And the HUD we need, we don't need M scene. And not the splash screen image either. There we go. So now I'm going to change everything that's relating relating to this dot into our main activity. Using. And that fixed most of our errors. Now I just need to change M scene. And since this is already a scene object a scene class, we actually should refer to this dot attach child and not to another scene or something like that. So every M scene is going to be changed to this. Okay, this. There we go. And then we're, in, we're going to set the camera. I'm going to do this by referring to main dot mengine dot get camera dot set hud. Main dot get engine and dot get camera and then we're going to set the hud for our camera. And get 
then turn and register an update handler which is going to check for collisions and then we're going to create a my hot sprite main dot main and now this dot main Now we have fixed our main game scene and I'm going to start creating our splash scene. I'm going to create a new class, name it splash scene. Basically this scene will just display an image or a sprite and then after 3 seconds we will switch over to our main game scene. I'm going to add a constructor over here too. Just like we did in our main game scene. There we go, and I'm going to import main activity. And then I'm going to call initialize resources. Activity. There we go. And then I'm going to. And then I have already created an image. I have already created a splash image. I have already initialized it somewhere over here. Let's see. Right in the main activity. Over here, splash screen image. It's going to show you what it looks like. It's really basic. Yeah, like this. So basically, this scene will be displayed for 3 seconds and then we're going to move over to our splash scene. Or we'll move over to our main game scene. So I'm going to create a sprite. Flash sprite. So splash sprite equals to new sprite at the position zero zero. I've made the image just as big as just as big as the screen. And then the and then the image will be main dot splash screen image. We're going to get the vertex buffer object manager from our main activity. And then we're going to add a splash sprite to our scene. This so this dot attach child attach child splash sprite. And we're going to extend scene of course. There we go. And now I need to register a timer handler, which is going to keep track of how many seconds have passed. Tap timer handler, timer handler, which is what we're going to call it, equals to new timer handler, and then the seconds that will pass, which is going to be three seconds, and then we're going to set it to this. Going to import timer handler, and we actually need to implement itimer callback so we can inherit a method called on time past, on time past. Basically, when the timer runs out, we're going to call this method, and then I'm going to call main dot switch to game. Basically, it's a basically it's a method that I will create inside our main activity that's going to take us take us to our main game scene, and I will just simply do this. I do this dot get. This dot m engine dot set scene, and then we're going to set it to a new main game scene. So basically, we create a new object out of our main game scene, and then we actually change the scene into it. And then we need to set this inside the parameter so we can actually tell which main activity object it is. And then uh, sometimes your HUD will follow, or every time your HUD will follow, and it's just specified to go away, because your HUD is actually sticked to your camera. One way to remove it would be something like this: this dot get camera. Sorry, this dot engine dot get camera, and then dot set HUD, and it'll set it to null, and that would remove it. 
so basically what will happen and how it works is that we're going to create a splash scene which creates one image and creates a timer which lasts for three seconds and when those three seconds have passed we're going to create a new main game scene and initialize all of the resources and set that to the current scene now I just need to create a new splash scene at the beginning pretty simple, just do like this M scene equals to new splash equals to new splash scene and I'm now, I am now going to run it on my phone and check so everything works I actually forgot one thing we need to actually register our timer handler onto our M engine so this dot M engine sorry get engine dot register update handler and we're going to set it to our timer handler and now our timer should work. There was one small error. I should have attached our my hard sprite that's located inside our main game scene and not the one from our main activity class, which shouldn't even be here. So I'm going to remove it. Let's see. My hard sprite. There we go. So yeah, everything works as it should, as you can see from the image. This was the first image, our splash scene, and after about 3 seconds or so, it switched over to our main game scene, which looks like this. So yeah, that was pretty much all for this video. If you liked my video, please subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up. It would really help a lot. So hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.